Hello, my friends. Welcome to the show, Jack Chow on East West with G and E TV. Well, today we're talking about a restaurant. We're talking about a restaurant incident. Normally, when you come to a restaurant, you are greeted by people, by waiters, waitresses. There, say, "Hey, welcome here," and how many of you? So, in this instant, there is no answer of how many of you. There is a whole truckloads of stuff in there. So, we're talking basically about <laughs> quite recently. Ah, uh, uh, from you just can can this. Okay. 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 那个，所以我们今天是用英文讲的吗 ？Yeah, yeah, 英文讲。Oh, okay, course, I didn't know that. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. One more time.、Mm -hmm. Hello, my folks. Welcome to the show, Jack Shaw on East West with Jin E TV. Today we're talking about an instant and restaurant instant. Well, normally when we come to a restaurant, we are greeted by people there, the waiter, waitress, smiling at you. Asking how many of you welcome to here to this restaurant, something like that. However, to this instant, there seems to be no answer to how many of you because you're talking about a whole truckloads <laughs> of people or whatever, you could, even in, in equipment inside the whole restaurant. Namely, we're talking about, of course, you know that they go a day ago, in、uh, a fire truck, a huge fire truck of fourteen, no, fourteen feet long, no, fourteen feet. For big, big, huge fire truck went inside the restaurant, caused a lot of damage. To that instant, we'd like to find out the the the, the、uh, answers to several questions, such as how, how it happened, why it happened, and the consequences, so on and so forth. To get the answers to the to the right point, I have to have I have to have a professional to get on the show. That is my good friend. Mr. Paul Chen, attorney of law, to the show. Welcome, Paul, to the、okay. show. Hello. All right. So,、uh, to get a little bit to to Paul, though, Paul has a rich history of doing law practice. He is、uh, holding a beautiful office in Pasadena. I went to the office. My office is all. You occupy the whole floor, right? Yeah.、The、so floor,、uh, yeah. us as a group, we occupy the entire floor. Yes.、Uh, yeah, all right. Good. And、uh, beautiful office, and the parking is expensive, by the way. <laughs> uh, uh, Paul himself used to be a former city attorney of the city of、uh, Hesperia. Hesperia.、Uh, to the east of、uh, I-15, right? So it's uh, north, uh,、mm -hmm. north of Los Angeles. It's、uh -huh. on your way to Vegas. It's、I、Appleville.、Uh, Apple Valley, Victorville, Hesperia—it's、uh, a tri-city area. I see, and it's right above Ontario,、uh, right. on the way to Vegas. Okay, very good. So you know, it is not everybody, every attorney can handle a position of city attorney.、Uh, as a that position of city attorney, you come across lots of issues. Now, he is to do his own firm in Pasadena. He is、uh, specialized in commercial litigation and real estate、uh, litigation stuff、right. like that. Right、mm -hmm. now. Uh, for this kind of incident that happened, I would like to to my audiences. They might not get the first-hand information. Would you please describe what happened the, that afternoon, please? Yeah. So there was an emergency situation、mm -hmm. in which、uh, two fire trucks in an emergency situation collided together from、mm -hmm. two different cities.、Mm -hmm. uh, from what we understand, it's Monterey Park and Alhambra were responding to a call.、Mm -hmm. Collided subsequently. Hit an individual,、mm -hmm. went into a restaurant.、Uh, currently,、uh, there are three people that are injured, one critically,、mm -hmm. um, and and that's you know that's the entire situation.、Mm -hmm. um, it, it's it's unfortunate. It's right on the corner of Emerson and Garfield yeah, yeah, yeah.、Um, in the city of Monterey Park. It's a very、mm -hmm. well known area. I actually、mm -hmm. grew up down the street、uh, for about ten <laughs> years. Yeah, 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 about ten years. I actually, I ate a lot、Emerson. of time. Yeah, I ate a lot of time in the restaurant. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. you know it's an absolutely great area.、Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really in many ways. Uh, somewhat of a center of Monterey Park, although there aren't a lot of businesses mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. but everybody knows that location. Oh yeah, and, exactly.、Um, you know,、exactly. unfortunately,、uh, when I was growing up,、uh, mm. some of the businesses changed. But I always used to say to myself, "Boy, you know,、uh, it seems like that corner. It just、mm -hmm. kind of comes out, and there's a lot of traffic、uh, going really fast."、Mm. And、uh, you know, unfortunately,、uh, you know,、well, something me, happened. Looks to me, traffic is one thing because the traffic is existed there、right. for decades after decades.、Sure. The same condition. Yeah, right. The same width, 
Same with same land, mm -hmm. right? The area. But what is exactly the area or the location or the spot of the incident that calls for the emergency that they were going to? Well, as of right now, we, we don't know exactly the distress call. What we do know mm -hmm. is that both fire trucks were going into the area mm -hmm. and some people say that they were driving too fast mm -hmm. uh, some people say they were driving negligently mm -hmm. uh, but what we do know is that they both collided together mm -hmm. and essentially hit each other mm -hmm. one of them going straight into the restaurant yeah lots of people are asking one question was there a real emergency mm -hmm. where did it happen the exact location right right so if that is a solid situation, they were going to respond to that incident, mm -hmm. right? And they were, um, what happened was on the way. And then sometimes people do fake situations. Mm -hmm. So do we know for sure there was a situation, emergency situation, somewhere, somehow, that they were on the way to get responded to? Well, I think you're absolutely right, mm -hmm. is um, obviously, can we say that every time fire trucks go into an area, there's mm -hmm. an emergency situation? The answer is no. Mm -hmm. However, California law does say that when the lights of either a police officer or a fire truck are on, mm -hmm. uh, they're exempt from certain laws, uh, vehicle codes mm -hmm. in the state of California. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, really, I think, after analysis, what's going to occur. They're going to say that they were responding mm -hmm. to an emergency situation. Mm -hmm. They were acting in the course and scope of their mm -hmm. rights as a firefighter. Mm -hmm. There was injury, and we understand that. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, because of the injury, the city shouldn't be liable because of, of an emergency of situation. Of course, that's, that's a good story, mm -hmm. but that's one side story. Sure. The other side of the story is that, were the lights on? You know, Were uh, they using right. their sirens? Right. Mm -hmm. So was that no, confirmed? I, I, you know, as of right now, the city of Monterey Park, mm -hmm. as well as the city of Alhambra, has not put out a detailed analysis of what happened, mm -hmm. right? It's our hope that it was obviously an emergency situation with mm -hmm. sirens on, mm -hmm. because there can be two types of situations. There can be an emergency, and, and then there's an emergency with sirens on. Mm -hmm. As soon as the sirens go on, either in a police officer yes, or on yes, a fire yes. truck, yeah. The laws that apply to them are totally sure, different. Sure, exactly. Right. That part is understood. We learned from the driver's book that mm -hmm. when you see or you hear a siren, mm -hmm. you see a light. Right. A tr uh, what, either a police car or a fire, fire truck with yeah. light on. So you have to to move to the side. Correct. Right. Uh, to, to, let, to, to let them pass. Yeah, right. right. So now that we have witness, so do the witness testify that they see the the lights on, they hear the sirens. The problem is that the witnesses are giving conflicting stories, mm -hmm. uh, but that's very typical. You know, okay. there was actually a study uh -huh. uh, where there was a college professor uh -huh. and someone came in and robbed the college professor, but it was all an act. Mm -hmm. And then what happened is they interviewed different people mm -hmm. to ask what happened. Mm -hmm. Some people said it was a white guy. Some people said it was a black guy. Mm -hmm. Some people said it was an Asian person. Some people said he was fat. Some people said he was skinny. Some mm -hmm. people said he was tall. Some people All said right. he was short. Okay. Uh -huh. But that's the problem with witness accounts. It's very rare, mm -hmm. very rare, mm -hmm. that you have consistent stories mm -hmm. in regard to eyewitnesses. And unfortunately, the only person that really can be an eyewitness is in critical condition. Mm -hmm. He was outside of the restaurant. The truck hit him. Mm -hmm. He went into the restaurant. And uh, he's really, in my mm. opinion... The truck pushed him to the, into the restaurant. Correct. All right, good. And it's, okay. it's, um, you know, it, it's very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's the typical issue when it gets to mm -hmm. uh, uh, different eyewitnesses. It's very common, very mm -hmm. common, mm -hmm. to have different eyewitness accounts on a very uh, simple issue that occurred. But, uh, well, of course, I appreciate that the example with the college professor, mm -hmm. right? In that situation, you know, the office, college, the, the, the professor office might be visited by different peoples, right? right? Okay, whoever, well, give the, give the testimony, does not make himself, make sure the, it was exactly that very person, mm -hmm. right? Could be a, a short guy, could be a tall guy, could right. be a white guy, could be a black guy, right? right, right. So that is understood. Mm -hmm. But for a truck that size, for a small restaurant that size, though, for a intersection that small, so you can't be mistaken about another truck. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a two-lane road on um, you know, uh, either side. It's a total sure. of four mm -hmm. lanes. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a very busy uh, you know, intersection. 
Mm -hmm. um, as of right now, we don't specifically know the specific emergency that they were responding to, mm -hmm. whether it was that at that specific location or not. All right. Uh, but unfortunately, what we do know is that, uh, you know, uh, from what they're saying, all right, mm -hmm. so we don't have the specific analysis, but from what's being told to us is that mm -hmm. they were responding to an emergency situation, mm -hmm. and because of that, the injury occurred. It's mm -hmm. an unfortunate situation, but it is what it is. Um, I do understand that that may not be acceptable to many people, mm -hmm. uh, but I believe at this time we have to trust the fire department and the mm -hmm. statements that, were, that are currently being made by the fire department. Mm -hmm. There is gonna be more analysis that occurs. They mm -hmm. have to do an analysis. Mm -hmm. They have to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, as of right now, that's the current status. Question is that, is that a case that we can build upon just the trust of the fire department or it has to cause for kind of investigation about what exactly that happened at this instant and what was exactly happening at the instant that called for emergency help? Well, right? you, know, uh, I, you know, I think you make a good point is mm -hmm. public trust. Uh, should we trust the public departments that mm -hmm. help us? Mm -hmm. And I, I say as a general rule is that we should trust, mm -hmm. but at the same time, an investigation is never wrong, mm -hmm. right? And I think it only helps the public trust. Mm -hmm. uh, I know as a general rule, because I used to be a, a deputy city attorney, mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. uh, supporting firefighters and police officers, they do a remarkable job. Uh, do they do a perfect job? Nobody can ever do a perfect job. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. they're in a position that they have to make a lot of decisions mm -hmm. very quickly, mm -hmm. uh, particularly because many of them, as soon as the sirens are on, they're exempt from many of the vehicle codes. They're mm -hmm. traveling faster than the average uh, a vehicle. Mm -hmm. They are uh, going through lights. Uh, they're avoiding cars. Mm -hmm. uh, but because of that, uh, we have to ensure public trust. And by doing so, mm -hmm. uh, if necessary, uh, I, I don't think that Monterey Park or Alhambra would be adverse to doing an investigation merely to show mm -hmm. that what they were doing was in the course and scope of mm -hmm. the uh, emergency situation. Mm -hmm. and, and I think in so doing, it's really going to help what the public What if there is some kind of accusation? There may be accusations that occur. Of course, uh, there, yeah. there, there are frequently uh, those situations that happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, cities are frequently sued because uh, essentially, the accusation is that the police officers or the fire department was not acting in the course and scope of employment mm -hmm. or they were acting uh, negligently. Mm -hmm. I understand that, right? I understand that. And right. mm -hmm. I can be able to say that if the city, uh, if, if something had gone wrong or if they can improve, mm -hmm. I'm very sure that the firefighters as well as police officers, mm -hmm. because we really put them together, Mm -hmm. They're never adverse to improve. All right, okay, of course. Let's take a short moment now. When we come back, we'll keep finding out from this incident. So stay with us.